Honestly, they've been a huge blast. I have been thoroughly enjoying the matches today. Let's go. But Start with off this. with some nurses today. Yep, we got a nurse mirror right off the bat on the Dead Dog Saloon. Really, really nice corrupt we're looking at, and survivors already having split up and stealth out. Nothing in the back. Okay, Ooh. if you were a betting lion, what a... Uh, what are you feeling here? Do you think this is going to be 4K1 across the board for a tied set? Or do you think one of them is going to crank out a 5 gens or maybe even get a 4K2? You know... What are you feeling? As much... <laughs> There's a lot to choose from from between those... What is it? Three options now? I highly doubt it. It could be know. something else, but those are like those are the top three that I'm betting on. The problem yeah. is <laughs> I can't tell what it's going to be. And as of right now, Julian having a little bit of a struggle bus finding these survivors out of the bat... And as we saw, Ruin already Ooh. going down, it looks like. But that retribution popping off the will show them where the survivors are. So a little bit yeah, of payback that... for cleansing. <laughs> and that did definitely help him for them trying to find those survivors. Because, yeah, that first couple of seconds was very hard trying to find them in this part. True. And we saw a survivor crouching away, stealthing out. However, it does seem like they have actually managed to stealth out almost entirely. They do get found, though, in the corner. The question is, does this Claudette have the deli? They were tucked in. Oh, but a short Ooh. blink and they miss? That was... Oh, I don't know. It wasn't even close enough to even call that. It was pretty far from that. It really does feel that way. Oh, Nurse continuing chase. Boy. Trying to get caught back up to the survivor. First gen going down and... Survivor's actually doing a really good job baiting this nurse All around, right. finally getting the first tag at Water Tower, and staying in the corner. Uh, Ooh. What's going on here? Yeah. Not really sure, but we'll be swapping over, seeing what the other survivors are too. 25% on a generator. Nancy out in the corner again. No pain res. Is, uh, pain res is a bit too strong. Ruin already out of the game. This is not the ideal start that you want to see as a nurse, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that's kind of true on that end. Just, oh, they're coming around, taking that unhook that quickly. Yeah, Nancy was hovering at the edge for that unhook. Probably the Deliverance player, if I had to guess. Now, the question is, can they follow up with a two-tap on the Claudette? No, they cannot, Ooh. and they will get away. Deliverance will be available to Nancy if they have it. Yeah, I was just trying to get that. I guess now the point is just try to get the Claudette to second stage. Sent out. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Trying to force the pick and waste more time, but not going to happen. The question is, is there a decisive strike? No, there isn't. That'll be second hook coming in very shortly. However, Quentin almost finished with their jet at 95%. Again, no pain. Residence, Nancy hovering around for an unhook. And 70%. Again, Cynic's doing really oh. well here. <laughs> oh, that 4K. It doesn't sound so promising right now definitely with the nurse right? uh it could still definitely be 4k territory depending on what kind of gen setup is left after the survivor goes to uh, you know back to the campfire but yeah nurse yeah. looking around they want to secure this they don't mind if two more gens fall they know that they can probably hold a four uh a 4k one i would imagine especially with the start they had taking a 4k one in the situation probably what they're just going to go for ah okay no, for well, I don't know. The gen setup oh. isn't as conducive for it. And again, again, it seemed like Cynic. I would be kind of weary accepting this. Um, this seems like the safest play. I will say that. For having such a rough start, I think this is the safest play. Nancy coming yeah. in, though, for the unhook. Ooh. There's the hit. Okay. I'm going to say, just taking as much as they can. <laughs> There's the down. Well, Plenty of distance with that in. sprint burst, though. Dear goodness. Ooh. I mean, a lot of people do. That's just so beneficial, too, is coming out with the hook like that. Just get a little distance away from it. True. And with the lucky break in hand as well, it's going to be a lot more difficult for this nurse to track them for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. Scratch marks will be going online like, soon. Yeah, no, the, the lucky break doing a phenomenal job here. And they do manage to get them at the corner of the map, but oh. doubling back. Ooh. Glad it's making this chase go nice. way longer than it needs to be. <laughs> She's definitely... Saying that I'm not, if I'm going to the <laughs> to the campfire via entity, it's going to be a while before that happens. Right now, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, we hear Claudette on the other side, quick blink to the other side, and that will not be a down. Claudette saying, <laughs> "You keep missing me, keep it up," uh, and that will no. be 
the down, but that sounds like the gen's about to be done. Yeah. Oh man. Nurse sees it too. They have to hook this ASAP and get back up to prevent it. And Honestly, I think you commit for this. Yeah, she finishes this. Yep. Oh no, nurse. No. <laughs> now you leave the slug. Yeah, you go for another survivor. Survivor is on the exit gates. And then Quentin coming back around for the pick. Question is, how progressed is this exit gate? Pretty dang progressed, but it's Nancy and she is injured. Getting the down. Ooh. Now Ultra has to be careful. They're gonna go straight for the pick though. This is dangerous because yeah, I think the survivor has the deliverance. You think so? You think Deli's in play right here for you? Oh, I think as absolutely as she's yeah. the only one that's ever unhooked, and you always prioritize the unhook. They did get the pickup on Nia. We see scratch marks leading away, but I imagine we're gonna see deliverance any moment. There, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, there it is. I guess now your ideals, I, I I guess your situation here is get Nia, down her, hook her, and then camp this in 7 stage 2k and try and recover. This was not what I thought was going to be in the cards with this game. Yeah. Yeah, going Big far to the corner. Up. Yeah. Just get a two man out for it. Yeah, Nia. Yeah. Will we go back to the campfire? This will be a 7 stage 2k, but... This is far from what I expected to see in this match, and Cynic had a very strong opening game on Survivor. Yeah, they did. And so I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to be betting on this one yet. <laughs> yeah, I, you would have been safe. Mm -hmm. You would have been absolutely <laughs> safe. This is not the top three results I would have expected on this map, especially. Survivors did a phenomenal job juking this killer, and we'll be going into set... I'm sorry, trial number two here in just a moment. All... The Trollium has a hard ask. This is going to be a really tough game for them. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading in for trial number two. It is now Angel's turn to crack out the nurse. And uh, we were talking about it a little bit on the back end. Petroleum has a pretty tough ask here to try and get as many stages out as possible. But, Temi, what, what do you notice when we first load into this game? <laughs> uh, they found already a survivor and also a lit totem survivor. Not the answer I was, was looking like... for, but that's okay. I was actually looking for, uh, there's no corrupt intervention. <laughs> oh, that's right. Dang. I'm so phased out of it that I'm just like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Temi, what did you do with my corrupt intervention? <laughs> you know, ooh. Ooh, that was actually a good smack. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, and worth noting, they're chance. not even bothering. They're just, they're just leaving. They, they took that stun personally. <laughs> they did. They're like, that's her. That's her. <laughs> It looks like they were jamming out the gent at Water Tower. Two survivors were here. Ruin regressing it as we speak. They do finally find Nia yep. being caught out a little bit. And they will take a tag, running as far away as possible. Go. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh, nice. I didn't think that was actually going to connect, but they do get the down. Is there going to be... Nope. Thought oh, the server okay. might go for I... the, the palace down there. It would have been pretty cheeky. Yeah, and the only thing is just the sound from Water Tower there it just always throws me off because I think someone's nearby. But it's just that animation, so. True. And it looks like they cleansed Hex Retribution and they didn't actually cleanse Ruin. Ooh. So Ruin is still up and they get Retribution value all the way. Zarina taking Chase into the far back dead zone of the map. Nurse hiding a little bit of a surprise for the survivors, taking a tag Ooh, as the nice. unhook comes through. Alright. I wasn't expecting that. It actually. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it at all. And. Uh, over blinking a little bit. Serena doing some work, actually. That crouch just came in handy. I thought she was going a little bit ahead until. Heck. Ooh. Absolutely, and Nurse nice. not getting turned around. They do get the down on Serena. Still five gens remaining. It looks like survivors are cranking away, and that will be first gen done for the survivors very shortly, as well as Claudette's done on the opposite side of the map oh, okay. near two. And that'll be two gens complete by the second hook, so survivors actually kind of going tit for tat at the moment. Oh, a little bit what? of a spectator bug. Love that. Nurse's position okay. is currently locked in place. That's always fun. 
It's I don't a, really remember this book. <laughs> yeah, it's still a bug. It's been in the game for years. Uh, would love it if they ever get around to it. But you know what? They got other more pressing spectator bugs. So that's okay. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Looking around. <laughs> not seeing any survivors over here. Uh, They're still determined that there was someone over there. <laughs> yeah, they really were. It looks like one survivor sprint bursting all the way to main, whereas Nia is going to be kind of caught back here. And oh. I think if they get this down, this is going to be second hook incoming for Nia, potentially. Oh. Just oh, yeah. Incredibly precise blink there, and that's going to be second hook coming in. Claudette setting up on top of Saloon for about 30-40% of the generator currently. Ada getting their own generator 20%. And Zarina, it looks like they're going to be finishing off that heal. Nice. You know what? I'm surprised that there's no... Oh. I forgot that <laughs> Ruin's still up. <laughs> Ruin is still up, unfortunately, for the survivors, so the totem they cleanse being retribution didn't end up helping out. And we see the totem is actually, like, really nearby. Oh, the thwack coming in handy, though, as they see the survivor off in the distance, getting a quick blink, and Claudette is in no man's land. <laughs> They're actually not going to follow it up. Yeah, they see a survivor running in for the unhook in the meantime, and they will go for the intercept. Nice. They were able to push that off. They were. Zarina kind of being that. zoned away from the hook, which means, again, there's only two survivors possibly working on Jen. They do take a tag, and they will go for a Ooh. hook trade. But I think you just go for the... Yeah, I think you go for the tunnel on Nia here. Not yep. like that. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Just just a little bit further. A little, little, bit, little bit more blink, and you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Now, the question is, is there a decisive strike from the Nia? Nurse seems to mm. think so. They're not going for the pickup. Looking around for their slug. It looks like they... Oh, Zarina actually getting up with Unbreakable and Sprint Bursting away. Are they able to get the distance they need? They are. Oh, they do. I think Nurse oh, was God. expecting the double back. And now... It's forever on the ground, but this one is in chase. They do get the pickup on Nia. Third gen has gone down. Oh, a short blink coming Ooh. in by accident. <laughs> Survivors? Uh, oddly enough, doing way more than I was expecting them to be able to do in this set, so... Oh my Ooh. goodness. God, I'm so close. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, they finished the fourth gen, though. I thought that there was... Oh, I didn't realize it was so far progressed. Uh, this is starting to look really dire for Angels here. Yeah, I think it was just that moment that they should have just took the chance and see if they could get that hook. I'm about to say, you probably should have just eaten the DS. They do have yep. a 3 gen still that they can work on, but the problem is, it's not a 3v1 like it should be. It's a 4v1 still. Nia's been reset. Mm -hmm. You've only got, I think, three stages so far across Survivors. Maybe four? You got three, yeah. Uh, things. yeah, things not looking no, so yeah. hot for uh, Cynic after all. I thought this was going to be kind of an open shut case. Ooh. Really nice stun, but that's going to be a really quick down nice. regardless. <laughs> I wonder if the survivors are just playing through Ruin. Looks to be the I case. I think they are. Yeah. Each are about 20% on their generator. Looks like Serena's going to be making their way back across the map to try and get this unhook in the meantime. Again, this 3-gen, I don't know how you beat this as a survivor squad. It still very well could be 4K1. But, again, having four survivors up, that is that is how you get that start. So, yeah. We'll see how Petroleum tackles the 3-gen the nurse has, especially when there's a survivor right next to it. More Man, thwack coming in, whack. though. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Thwack is such a sweet perk on this map. And I was wondering, I was like, wait, why are they just leaving all the drop pallets for that? I was like, you know what, you can use those resources with Thwack. Mm-hmm, absolutely. <laughs> they do find the dead survivor not going for the... I'm surprised they're not going for the kill here. Yeah. Though maybe maybe they also see their win con being, as long as they can get enough uh, hook stages on, across the survivors like this one, this is a fresh mm -hmm. survivor... That limits the amount of points that uh, Sid, uh, John can deny. Oh, but the dead heart fails! <laughs> oh, this is lights out, I think, here for Petroleum on the Survivor Squad. 
I'm gonna say, I don't I don't know how you come back from this. You got your fresh survivor slug. This is the dead survivor. Yep. And they're leaving him slugged in the back of the map. And now there's only one survivor up. I think there might have been miscommunication. Uh. They were trying to greet it out, but yep. No, yeah. That is going to be the 4K14 Cynic. Really, really. Again, it was it was a really tough ask for Petroleum Survivors team to try and you know get some stages here, but they really got close. They definitely mm -hmm. did. Yeah, they did. But just being able to go back into that gen, that was the most progressed, the most progressed out of it. Let's get that done, but unfortunately, that did not cut it through for them. Indeed, and that will be all there is for set number one as we will be going on to set number two very shortly. It is going to be an Oni mirror on the Thompson house. Ooh. I, say, I haven't seen Do a good Oni mirror in a hot minute. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's not going to be my little Oni situation. You know, I wouldn't mind if, you know, game modes came to custom games at some point, but the, some of the queue times for these game <laughs> modes were already insane, taking it to the point where you could go to customs instead. Uh, would probably yeah. make the cues even worse, so I don't know. I also don't know how that would look on the coding side, so <laughs> hard to say, but yeah. that will be set number one going in favor of Cynic. Really, really close. Closer than I expected, but again, just that three gen in the back that the nurse held on to was just so, so difficult to push through. All right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We are loading in for trial number three, set number two. Ultra has cracked out the Oni. And what on... There's, like, a single gen that's crept on the side of the map. Does this mean there's, like, a seven gen on the side? Like, there's nothing I, on Shaq. I do believe so. Literally, when I looked over, I was like, wait, really? Is this really what's happening? Okay. Where are the gens? There's, like, two over here. So, there's, it's, yeah, it's literally, like, a five gen on the other side of the map. That is actually kind of insane. Yeah, another situation. I guess let them finish those two, and then you got all those five just worry about it all together right <laughs> yeah pretty much but bamboozle coming in oh we had talked about this yeah. a little bit when we we're looking at the build in the back end and we we're kind of surprised that you know bamboozle was a choice on thompson house seeing as well it's thompson it's house thompson's I, I, house yeah, yeah. I was say, what what are you what windows are you blocking here besides shack like main building they just keep running so i'm really curious to see what happens and also brutal strength Usually you uh -huh. see one of these taken, usually Brutal or Bam, but the fact that both of them are here is really interesting to me. I'm curious to see what Ultra's thought process is. Yeah, well, I mean, when he's in, like, has his powers, that doesn't go faster, does it? What's a... mm, What's no? Because it's an M2. Hit, yeah, right it's, a, it's a regular break for M2, and yeah. oh, they're holding W through the Bloodlust. Absolutely savage plays coming in from Ace. Oh, <laughs> There's the vault, but they get to this pallet still. <laughs> they were they baited out the M1 saying, you know what, you can hit me here. And then they went for it anyway. This ace is kind of going crazy here. Julian, a little bit of a vengeful streak, greeting the pallet. <laughs> this is the level of disrespect that I expect from Timmy. Uh, listen, no, never. <laughs> One gen at Thompson House down. The splintered hull is going to be slowly giving extra blood here, but it looks like maybe Ace with balanced landing. That's exactly what they oh, have. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> What's the balance landing trick? And we're going back to this. Okay, we're pre dropping that. Okay. Okay, Just yeah. Now, now, you, now you take the pre drop. <laughs> Again, so worth. Ooh. Getting it over the pal, but that's two gens down. It, worth noting, so these teams are definitely both NA. But, uh -huh. wait, three gens? This survivor did a three gen chase against Oni. Phenomenally done. And looks like first hook will be coming in here. Even if it is a pain residence, it's not going to be the greatest since, you know, three gens finished. Yeah. Uh. But really impressive job from the survivors on this opening chase. But now Oni has power in hand, and with the Akito's crutch, that is going to be a fast little Oni. Yeah. Let's just try to catch at least this, another survivor, which is going to be a little bit 
But I, say, I don't even right now. Oh, oh, right there. Finding them. <laughs> Where does Claudette go from here, though? Oh my goodness, they hid behind it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Did not pay off. There's the unhook coming through, though, and Oni still has plenty of power left. Oh, enough of that juice. Go on. Oh. Looks like they had borrowed that. time still. Mm -hmm. So able to take that hit and keep going, dropping the pallet. Julian kind of looping out of their mind, but ended up going down. Nah. <laughs> Second hook incoming as the power has been completely depleted. Does not look like there's going to be a decisive strike. And that'll be second hook coming in for Julian. But it's just those turns. I can't still master that. <laughs> just completely. But they get the fourth end. gen done in the corner in the meantime. These survivors, uh, they must have taken some, like, you know, caffeine pills between this, this uh, the previous set. Because this is not the same Petroleum Survivor Squad that was in the last set. These guys are <laughs> killing it right now. <laughs> they saw what they're up against now, for sure. I think that lit up there. Absolutely. And the gens are absolutely split. And there's even a survivor back here working on it next to the hooks, just saying, you know what, we don't care. The question is now, mm. yeah, but I say they're doubling the gen. I think they absolutely, and the, 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 the really rough thing here is that the killer doesn't have power. That, mm -mm. like, they, they used all the blood orbs from the previous down, and now they need to get a hit here if they want to continue, and they will get the hit, and the pallet's Ooh. done. So hook trade coming in for Ada, and Oni will be able to get their power now as they're going to leave them slugged on the ground. And I think this might oh, be a pain res. Even if it is, I don't know. Will it be enough, though? Yeah, gonna... they're taking them to a different hook, so that's going to be a pain res, most likely. Yeah, and Oni is nearby for this as well. Uh, is there a pallet here for the survivor? There is. This is going to be a hit, and that means power is going to be in hand in a very short moment. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bit greedy from the survivors. Unhook did come through, though. It looks like Ada's going to try and take the hit for Renatu. But no, they're left to their own devices. That's going to be a down. <laughs> I mean, they still have enough. That's going to be another pain res, potentially, though. But now Sarah's working on the opposite side of the map on a different generator, but they're all injured, so they're all going to be collecting blood orbs at the moment. And it looks like it's going to hit this gen this time. That means there's two separate gens being worked on very heavily. Oh, three, right? No, uh, no they're, they're doubling this one over here in the corner mm -hmm. and the one over on the other side. So these gens are going to fire. Well, I say that. Power in hand. Can Oni get oh. the down on the survivor at the other side of the map before it's too late? They're going to stay back. They're going to go for the slugs. Nice. The adrenaline on Ace. Where do they go? It's like Ace is going to be going in for the unhook. That's going to be a trade. <laughs> Not able to get the double hit on Renatu, though. And that's going to be Julian's last hook. Death hook confirmed. And I imagine they're going to go back for the Ada for another hook. No, they yeah, they want yeah. they want more. They want a 3k here, I think. Can they get it, though, is the question. Oh, they got the un... They got the pickup. I don't think Unbreakable is allowed. So yeah, that's going to be a pickup from the survivors. Oh, there's the Claudette. I'm just being able to. Going on the side, and that will be a down. But that means that they can go for Shaq, and there's not enough blood rubs in the area to go. Yeah, they just have to go for the pickup here. But that will be a fresh hook, so they did hook everyone once. That's going to be looking like an eight-stage 2K with nobody yeah. uh, leaving fresh. That's going to be a good chunk of points to the killer, only missing four points total. So it's going to be 20 to 14. Pretty good showing here for Cynic, but honestly, Petroleum had a really strong start, but I feel like it kind of... They, 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 they gave the Oni a little bit of snowball towards the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We are loading in for trial number four. It's either the halfway point or the end of the line for Petroleum. But regardless... Finding another early survivor. They're not even taking chase. They're like, nah, I don't want this survivor. I want a different one. Let's say they have their eyes set on Nancy, potentially, or maybe Claudette. 
I think it was clawed out at the end. Yeah, because they did see the Nancy, and then later on they did a quick turn left, and they're like, no, 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 it's this one. They're like, no, 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 we want, we want this survivor dead, but oh, yeah. they're going to need a balanced oh. landing for breakfast. <laughs> oh. It's going to be tough. I have to ask, I need, we need to check and see if this, is a, if this Oni game counts towards the win streak or not, but... Mm -hmm. I, I, believe Mom, I believe Momo has like a 300 win streak on Oni. I forget how much, but uh, obviously a very impressive Oni. So I'm curious to see what this is going to be in play here. We do see brutal strength. So again, kind of what I was expecting early, but this time no pallet inside, and that is going to be a first hit with the bloodlust coming Ooh. in. Nice. A minute into the match. And I think this is a bit of an earlier hit from the Oni than previously. Again, just yeah. holding W, and I think they make it to this, but this is going to be, again, Brutal Strength is going to come in huge dividends oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> First gen going down for the survivors, and I think that's going to happen before... I'm going to say, I think... No! They got auto aimed. Oh. oh, that's brutal! <laughs> oh, that yeah, I'm going to say, you have to take your blood and go. Yeah. That is absolutely awful for the Oni. But Corruption Invention is still up. They have their power in hand. All they gotta do is find a survivor and they can go. You think they'll find the other person? Oh, no, there's the sound. <laughs> yep, survivor is back here in the corner. But I say, I think you have to kick this. And now all there is mm -hmm. is a filler tile at the bat. And that will be down coming in. The question is, will the survivors be able to finish it in? There's 70% on this gen. It looks like they're doubling up in the meantime. Oh. The question is, no, I don't know if there's another gen being worked on. No, there isn't. Um, This is a very, like, compared to the previous Oni, this is a really good start. Yeah, it is. Especially oh, with that pain risk coming in. And the, wait, they were working on that same gen. I thought there were two different gens, to be honest. Uh-oh. It's actually going to the one that most progress for it. Thanks. It does make sense. They are able to find and push them away. And this fiber is here. Power in hand. But it's a TNL. I'm curious how they play this TNL. I, again, uh, I'm not an Oni made by any sense of the word. Oh, but they actually... Oh, my God. They play that perfectly. And they're going straight for the pick, too. I guess assuming that they can find the blood enough to get another one. This is a really good start for the Oni. We're going to see how Cynic brings this back. Mm-hmm. It just... Was that usage of another pain res? No. It doesn't look like it was. It looks like it wasn't a pain res at all. And yeah, with these orbs, that should be close to enough for another power if they suit. Yeah, I about to say they need like one more orb to complete this power. Yep, right there. I mean, Claude had really did give enough blood pools from mm -hmm. the area. Or blood orbs, I should say. That's 80%, or sorry, 70% on this generator, maybe 60. And with the this gen regressing in one behind it, I'm about to say, you can camp this to second stage and give them uh, some time to work on the generator, finish the second one, as this is beginning to look like 4K territory, like 4K1. Yeah. The pressure this killer has is just immense. You see a survivor come in for the unhook, you pop your power, and that second stage secured. And if they decide to run away, uh... Uh, it's just hard. Well, there's this. Second gen, halfway on the third one, and Quentin slowly rotating in for the unhook. And there's second stage confirmed. I'm curious to see able Quentin to rotate. Secure that. And I, I mean, that the good thing was is that they were starting to work on two other gens, but this is going to secure a kill for the Oni. And it, it's really going to put that pressure on because any of those two gens are right here. On the Absolutely. Next that gen is essentially regressed for free. It was their third generator, and it's just completely gone to nothing now. And I don't yeah. think Quentin's going to be able to come in for the unhook. Quentin's there, obviously, to keep the Oni uh, honest. So if the Oni leaves, they can get the unhook. But third gen's going to finish. We're about to see a four, uh, a three uh, three v one here in a second, though. Mm hmm. I mean, less than what twenty seconds. Oh, there's the. I say there's the last second unhook. Sprint burst definitely doing work, but that is going to be a hook trade. And Nancy did uh. take a double tap hit, so that means that they can follow it up with another one in just a moment. 
Oh, but I think they had lied to get distance away. Yeah. They Ultra's did. on the ground, though. <gasps> I say Nancy gonna go down here. The there question is, <laughs> does Nancy have decisive strike? And it does not look like they do. That will be Nancy out of the game. Do they get a pain res at the last second? They absolutely oh, do. Yes, they did. <laughs> Finished off with a pain resonance. Renato's gen back to 80%. It was actually really close to firing. Quetta at the top of main with about 20% on their generator. Now Quentin possibly with another pain res incoming. They did hear the scream, so they are incentivized to try and get a pain resonance. And we see, oh, Renato leave their gen entirely to come over for the... On her... I was like, I, and that was another pain res, so the gen that Hanatu's working would work on has been regressed by 40% total in the past minutes. Immediate unhook being happening though. Oh. And they actually don't want the Quentin. They're actually gonna go for Hanatu. Yeah, I think that would be the smartest thing just to get that last maybe. I say last pain res, and you're chasing yeah. them where the generator was worked on. And I think with a hit here, you will actually get your power. There's no other pallet here in the meantime. Good use of a firecracker to get extra distance, but Bloodlust is going to be kicking in here, and there we go. Power in hand. Actually, surprised by the break. Yeah. There's the fourth generator, though. Survivor out of the game. I believe there's five hooks in total so far, in it, but it's a 3v1. And the gens are, I would say they're kind of, they're pretty kind for the killer here. Mm hmm Quentin is going to be pushed away. This. Just being able to use those superpowers. But, mm -hmm. you know. There it is. Let's see how they play this. Uh, they're leaving it all together thanks to Eruption, giving them a little bit of safety. Power in hand. They do see the Scratch Rods are hooded out to. Chasing around the corner, but I don't think they Oops. see them. Seem to have stealthed out. Hmm. No, it's Claudette. Oh, Claudette. <laughs> No, they... Uh, oh, oh, no. But they do go down. There's the eruption. The yeah. question is, do they go for the aura or not? They don't care. They're just going to go straight for the hook here on Claudette. But alt... Uh, no, but I say Quentin's gen is not nearly as high as the, they would probably hope for it to be. That'd be second hook for Claudette. Actually, they Just might... them being injured has been helping. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And now they almost have power in hand. No, they do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is starting to really look like 4K1 territory. Unless survivors pull off some crazy miracles here, but there's so many resources. Like, I think this is the only pallet over here still. Is that pallet still there? Yeah, there's this pallet. Oh, yeah. It. I think that's the only pallet on the side of the map. And it is now gone. Oh! Nah. <laughs> oh. Get through the window. Be another hook coming in. Power back in hand. Eruption being reapplied. Flatet working as dutifully as they can on the generator. Now they, <laughs> yeah, essentially what they need to do now is, yeah, hide Hernadu. If they can hide them, they're fresh. And technically, for that reason, same reason, the killer needs to find the survivor. And yeah, they're not even trying to go for the Claudette Wars. It's very obvious. Possibly because they already popped power, which means if they went after Claudette, that means that they don't have power to search the exit gates. And technically on this map, I think they're actually pretty split. If I say you saving sprint so? burst until uh... the 10 seconds is up. Another hit and down. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, Hinato's over here, though. And that's not going to be enough for a stun. We see them working now, way on the generator. Run. Oh. I'm actually really curious. They're not going for... I thought they would have gone for angels here, but... Oh, no. I think the exit gets are on the same side of the map, so they might they might be fine with this. Yeah, as long as they get you their so? power in hand, they should be fine. But anti-regression mechanic is starting to kick in in just a moment. Yeah. Just getting those scratch marks, though. Just be able to get something. They're just going for the power again immediately. 
Huh. We see Crow up in the distance. Again, reapplying eruption to the generator. Maybe baiting a head on. They will go for the pig, and that is going to be an eruption. <laughs> oh. Nabi first hook for Hanadu. Another in final pain res. As I think yeah. that gen has been fully. Uh, there might be one more kick left. But now this survivor is only worth one point. They are the final stage. And I think. I think Petroleum's actually going to pull out the W here in set number two, potentially. Yeah, I mean, but I yep. can only do so much. They try their best, and that will be the 4K1. Really, really well played to Petroleum. <laughs> and we will be, in fact, going into set number three very shortly. So we will be going to the tiebreaker round, which I believe is an artist mirror on the Wretched Shop. Ooh. Do you love a good old artist mirror? Bunch of pros, what you mean? You know, it's a good time. <laughs> I've heard some crazy stories about crows. Uh, very intelligent animal, so, you know, I'm kind of okay with it. And with that said, that'll be all there is for set number two. Really? All right, everyone, welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading in for trial number five. Momo's cracking out the artist. And we are on the wretched shop with a pretty standard corrupt, is what I would say. Immediately finding an ace. But now, do you think that they were? Yep, there we go. The crows. There we say, the, the delayed <laughs> I <was> like, crow. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm not playing her. <laughs> so, therefore, they're definitely going to hit their crows. <laughs> I was about to say, unfortunately, not the case. Running by a ruined gen. See the Ooh, severed hands. I remember I think... what severed hands does again. Severed hands, uh, the dire crows will spread to other survivors that you come in contact with. And mm. the, I forget, it's egg of some kind. That will, yeah, essentially you get four crows to fire. So Let your shotguns go. are like kind of insane. Oh, they missed the door <laughs> shot though. <laughs> That's gonna be a blind. Again, first chase has not gone super successfully here for the killer. Uh -uh. Definitely struggling a little bit to get the hit, but they do finally it, vaulting across the pallet. Shotgun of crows coming out here. And they do get the down. Nice. Be first hook coming in. Looks like they're cleansing ruin though. Nancy about eighty percent on middle gen. Though with agitation, yep. they might be getting a pain res, and they do in fact get a pain resonance. Ooh. Artist hearing, but not really caring about what generator is being worked on. Looks like they will set up a crow to go at main. Not even Killer Instinct. Oh. That's interesting. I really thought they were going to get that with that hit. I would have thought so too, but not lining it up. Try and take pot shots at different areas. Oh, but they actually go for the unhook here. Claudette will get the unhook successfully. No hook trade either. Ooh. Curious how they're going to run the fun bus, but actually just leaving all together, leaving the eye tile. Possible body blocks coming in as Quentin does take Dire Crows going into main building, but that means they could possibly set up a shotgun here. No, they just missed the shot. Oh. They were so close with that, weren't you? Oh. That's fair. No flashlight attempt, no decisive, and that'll be second hook incoming. One gen down for the survivors. 80% on another generator, though. 20% on another as the ace was chasing around the artist. This gen is a little bit closer, so they might be able to actually properly, you know, keep this gen from firing too early. But, man, these crows aren't even giving killer instinct. Mm -mm. They're just missing it right off you, so it doesn't... Oh, there's one. There's one. But again, there's a locker nearby, able to reset the Dire Crows immediately. 
Yeah, just being able to run him back into that locker to get that out. Amazing. Absolutely. It's really, really handy. Getting double tags on these survivors, and they do finish the second generator, but this is slowly ticking down on the survivor on hook. Diacros have been dispelled fully. I'm going to say, Killer really wants to get the server out of the game as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I think they're just going to hover. It looks like sec I'm sorry, third generator is about to go down from Nancy. Ace about 40% on their own. And I think the server is, in fact, going to die. Claudette not able to run in in time. But they know this server is in the back by Shaq. I'm really curious if they can finish this fourth generator without being too interrupted. There's a good chance they might. You think so? Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. That's not where you want to be, though. Nancy does take a tag, and that's going to be a shotgun. Ooh, but they're going to be going away, and they do manage to dispel oh. in the meantime. Able to get those crows back though, and just seeing how they're going to be playing to the center. Really good aim on the pallet that was dropped, and so Lithe going to give him some distance, but shotgun coming in. Nancy's just going to lay in and managing to split oh. the. Really good job from Nancy, but now back at the same tile as they were before. Not the safest against Arts. We'll see how they handle this. Holding W instead of vaulting. Oh, and she actually went around okay. the... Oh, my word. Nancy's playing out of her mind. Let's go. Getting back towards main. Fourth generator down. Going into the back. It looks like not able to get... Yeah, but I say not able to get to a locker, and that will be Nancy going down. Clyde at about 80% on her generator at the moment. They will go for the hook. The question is, is it going to be a pain res? I think it has to be. If it's not a pain res, I think they, uh, Spiver yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the the downside for this killer, Nancy did such a good job on that chase, is that N they can't camp that. They have to go over here and attack this generator. And seeing Claudette run yeah. away from it, they know that that one has a lot of progress. I mean, I guess the next thing is, is just to either patrol that one right now, since it has the most. But I don't know. I say, you, you you can't really afford to for too long because there's still two servers on the side. You need to get a hit on this survivor. Oh my goodness, this survivor's <laughs> playing this so well. Looks like Ace rotating back in, and I must say now this survivor gets to rotate out. There, Cynics pulling it together a little bit just by the three v one, but they're not out of the woods yet. They need more chases like what Nancy had earlier, pushing Ace now off of the generator at the four lane. I mean, that was a nice run, just away from the crows and everything. Mm-hmm. Really good pathing, good. for sure. But you think they're resetting then for the other ones while they're... I don't think they're resetting at all. I think you go and try and get a gen on the opposite side of the map. You got one all the way over by the hill that Nancy was working on, and you got resources over here. Ace doing a really good job at loop. Mm-hmm. Good read there. Losing Chase even so Bloodless not going to accumulate. And now yeah, but you can just hold W through this tile. And now I think yeah, they needed this down hmm. yesterday. I don't think they can commit too much longer. There's the yeah. adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, now that's just... <sighs> oh, but they see the blood for the locker. That is Ooh. going to be a fresh hook, so they do have some potential for some extra points, but they need to find Ace again and get them down. But again, with them being fresh and obviously no Noed in play, it's going to be a tough call. Uh, Both these X gates yeah. aren't nearly progressed like they need to be, though. The question is, does the killer recognize that? Looks like they're just going to be harassing as much as they can. I don't think they're going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I think they take their out. outs here. I would say this is a pretty decent result against an artist. Though, 
I don't know. The, the hook's far away from the, both these exit gates. They have both of them opened. You could try and go for an unhook. They? We see Ace running in. I think they are. What y'all thinking? If they could get this out, that'll be huge. Comes Ace for the unhook. And now you have to be careful. They're going to let them go for... I would have gone for Ace, but... Oh. Just because they're fresh, but looking by the looks of things... They're no. all going to get out, though. Yep. Oh, that's crazy. I, I'm surprised they did not go for <laughs> Ace. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Champions of the Fog. We're loading for trial number six. And, oh my goodness, this artist has already found a whole bunch of survivors at main building. Oh. Everyone scatter. <laughs> oh, look at the hands. And that connection. Let's go. Oh. There's the hit. Ooh. Goodness. That is a start and a half, which uh, not where you want to be if you're a petroleum. No. I mean, let's see if they're able to get that at all. Saying, you know what? You can down me under this. That means that Corrupt Intervention goes bye-bye. And here's the question. Is the survivor bluffing? No, they are absolutely not. What are you talking about? They so are. No, just kidding. Yeah, Hanatsu actually hanging out by... <sighs> Do they go for the unhook, though? Oh... That was insane. Now the question is, do they have birds to follow it up? That's the question. Shotgun coming in. Oh, but they missed the survivor. They were able to dispel it. That is... Okay, now that is a comeback that you need if you're petroleum. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And Ooh, but... Oh, they didn't immediately fire it, maybe expecting a flare and missing the shots. Why? The really the thing that's really unfortunate here for the killer, they do finally get the another TNL, but that means that corrupt intervention was down way earlier than it needed to be. Oh, and Hanadu is here to try to get a flat zone save. <laughs> and honestly, it almost worked. The killer did almost didn't look behind them, but taking a free tag, and that is going to be first up coming in for. Ooh, but they actually no, they don't. Oh. They don't get to finish the gen. Oh, that was like a ninety nine percent pain resonance. They do finish another gen, though, in the meantime, so able to take the pain res. That is Ruin, too. That well. is, in fact, Ruin, yeah. Oh. Yeah, survivors definitely need to find Ruin and get rid of it. Because, yeah, every time they... Yeah, but I say, like, this is disgusting. This is what the, the killer last uh, last game needed. Because Ruin, mm -hmm. being able to kick, kick, kick those survivors off the gens repeatedly like this, that is incredible value. Oh... Oh, they actually take the tag! Oh, Able to get a cheeky snipe on Julian in the distance. Let's go. Yeah, I was about to say, that might have been a missed callout from the survivor on hook. And that gen is going to be slowly regressing with Ruin. And I think once second stage is secured, they'll probably go over there to try and mess with it more. Looks like it might have been even abandoned or a good callout. Second stage is secured. Ace is able to finish the gen, though. Ooh. Hanatu on a decent amount on this generator. Ada also cranking away. I oh. mean, what would be the point conditions out of this now, too? So, the previous, uh, the previous killer, I believe, had eight stages? Let me think, let me think, let me think. I think it was eight stages. Oh. But it was a it was a it was a one k. Yeah. Again, so what this killer needs is they definitely need a survivor dead. They preferably, if, as long as they hook every survivor and get something akin to a two k, they should be fine. And it looks like a hook trade will be coming in the last second from Ada. Now the question is, can they don't? No, they're just gonna go straight for the pain rest. But the oh. flashlight save! Oh, it's too early. Hanato, no, that is okay. so cheeky. <laughs> yeah, it used to be too early, but with the extra buffer, it wasn't. 
And Ada able to get away without giving a pain resonance. That means also Claudette able to go away. Ace able to work on their gen a little bit longer. Oh, but there. unfortunate read <laughs> from Ada. And that is going to be Hook coming in on them. The question is, is Ace able to finish their generator? They absolutely are. It is one gen remaining. Petroleum showing up and saying, we are not done yet. Survivor is actually in a pretty good position overall. I will say the gen setup is a little bit close for comfort. And they probably do need to get rid of Ruin, but I don't know how you do that now. Yeah. I mean, unless they find it already. Ooh, good Sprinter is getting some distance and going into the corner. But again, this is they're, they're kind of also falling into this issue of now you're bordering on every survivor is about to be hooked. If you can find Ace and hook them, that is every survivor hook. That is a good majority of points already given to the killer. And then survivors, to be careful, they can't afford to give too many more stages after that. Oh, the crows! Oh. Uh, shotguns. Oh my goodness, they, they went into the locker and gave it to each other again. That might be a bunch of downs. No, they actually managed to avoid it. There's so many survivors back here. This is an absolute, like... <laughs> sweet connections all through them. <laughs> now, I say the other downside to this with the survivors is now the killer knows where all of you are and you are all in a world of hurt from that. And this is the Death Hook survivor. Now I say there's nothing you do though. They are trapped with Hernatu on hook. This will be Death Hook coming in for Claudette. Now I say survivors have to spread back out. They do finish the heal on Ace. So, Survivor's yeah. definitely in a good spot, but here's the problem. They really can't afford to let Ace get hooked. Which, looks like they are in chase now. Ace has to be Ooh. really, really careful. Ooh, holding W to this tile instead. Oh, but they actually take oh. the tag. Oh! They really tried Dang. to bait that out. Yeah, they did. Yeah, do they make it to me? Beneficial. I'm about to say, you have to hold that W, and they do have a crow set up. I think it's going to hit him through the. Oh, they just. That was so well done. They're actually leaving the chase altogether. Yeah, this Hilton actually has a lot of progress on it. This is actually oh, getting really tense. Healing, okay. Yeah, they were just going for the uh, for the gen progress. And that will be Ada taking a tag. They're still stuck a little bit back here. I don't know where they have to go. So they're lining up crows to go to the other side. Able to get a hit yeah. on Julian. More crows coming in. Do that. No. Oh. The bait did not pay off. And that's a pain res. And that's a fresh hook. This might be lights out for Petroleum. This was not the hook they wanted to give, and it's in the middle of the three gen again. Or maybe this isn't a pain res? Huh? No, it is a pain res. No, that say. is, yeah. Let's say I don't know what you can do now. Now you've got two survivors that are both injured. Essentially, Aiden needs to be on the gen this whole time and finish it, and they need mm -hmm. to get every single survivor out without giving a stage, and I don't know if you can get that feasibly. I don't think so either. It's just going to be very hard to tell from here now. Yeah, Hanadu well, going to really. corner. Good W. Trying to give him a little spin, but not going to work out. Ada <laughs> will get the unhook. I don't know what I don't know what the survivors have now. I think they've given too many stages to the killer. Because, again, they really can't afford to tie. If this is a tie, it goes in favor of Cynic for overall points. I mean, they're all now... Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, this is about to be... Somehow it's... thought Ace was already on his second hook, not going into it. <laughs> no, yeah, this is Ace's second hook, so as of right now, even if they got every survivor out, I, I do not think there's enough points here. Looks like Ada probably able to finish her generator, mm -hmm. but again, just... It's, it is too much to ask for now. 
And that is going to be... Looks like 4K0 for Cynic's Killer. Again, Petroleum had some great plays and definitely gave themselves some chances. But again, asking for... Uh, Especially with oh. Noed in the back pocket. <laughs> this was a tall ask against Artist. Yeah. But regardless, really, really well played to both these teams. But in the end, congratulations to Cynic on taking it when 2-1. Again, hats off to Petroleum. They had some really good plays today. They did. So did. But that'll be all so I send out of the campfire at a 4k zero. Again, really well played to both these teams, and we'll be moving on to round number six. Not next week, as next week.